Well, hi there, everybody. Matt Kleskowski here, and I uh, wanted to give you a quick little Lightroom trick here for, for kind of relighting your photos. It's a technique that I, I use all the time. And in fact, I, I didn't realize how much I use it until I taught a workshop and somebody said, um, you know, what do you keep doing to your photos when I see you do this? Because I guess I was going over it kind of quick. So I thought I'd make a good quick tip here. The idea is, is, is when we want to add a little bit of an artificial light source to a photo here. So let's say, you know, you got some light coming in over here. Maybe I want to enhance a little bit just to give the photo a little bit more of a dynamic nature. Uh, what I usually do is grab the radio filter and then think about, you know, if I'm, if I'm enhancing a light source, one of the first things I'll probably want to do is crank up the exposure a little bit. And I don't have to worry about how much just yet. Um, and then a lot of times this has got a very warm type of a feel to it. So I'll probably want to kind of go with that and move the temperature up a little bit too here. All right. Now this is probably going to be too much. In fact, I'm going to make sure it's too much, but I just want to show you the effect here. I'm just going to drag out a circle. All right. And the way that circle works is there's a little checkbox down here. It says invert mask. Well, if that checkbox isn't turned on, this is actually what your circle is going to look like. It's going to take the exposure and the temperature, and it's going to apply it outside of the circle. So all I really want is the, the inverse of that. So I'm going to choose invert so that it applies it inside the circle. And now I have a light source that I can drag around my photo. So now I'm going to kind of put it up here, go outside of the circle. You can see I can rotate it around. I can spread it out more if I want to. So I can change the whole shape of, of this oval. What I'm looking for is some light coming in here, maybe onto, uh, onto those little houses on there a little bit. I can spread that out a little bit more if I want to make it bigger or kind of bring it in, make it smaller. So make it big enough that it starts to fade into the house there. And then now I can control just how much exposure and, uh, and temperature boost that I want with it here. So I'm going to kind of bring it out there and see what we get here. Maybe even a little bit more. Okay. What you want to be careful from, you don't want to bring it in to where it gets dark, then light, then dark again. Okay. Remember, you want this to be coming from outside. So I think that works out pretty good there. And you can even control the feather and the softness of it by using that feather slider down there. Uh, overall, actually, you know what? I'm going to make this one really big. There we go. All right. And if you want to see your before and after, all you got to do is hit that little toggle switch down here. That's your before. That is your after. Real nice way to relight something. And uh, and it's not just for landscape photos. In fact, it, I think it works great on portrait photos, sometimes even better on portrait photos. Uh, probably a little bit strong here, but I maybe just drag out, kind of move it around here, get this little light source coming in. You can see some light on his hair that was already there. And all I'm going to do is enhance it, make it a little bit warmer. And, uh, you know, this is when I took this, this was a very overcast day. So just trying to add, again, a little bit more of a dynamic nature to it, a little bit more light, um, just have the photo appear a little bit more pleasing. OK, so really, when it comes down to this one, creativity is the limit. So whatever you can think of that can use a little bit of a lighting boost, I think the technique works great on. And uh, I won't do a long drawn out close. We'd love for you to follow more. You can go check out my website, mattk.com, sign up for the newsletter. That way, uh, whenever I send out new stuff, you'll be the first to know or just keep watching the videos right here. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again real soon.